uh, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakadash, the honors to the elders of GMS, salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And um, as you can see, man, I ain't still going down. Uh, read this, read the title to you. It's time to prepare for the post American age, all right? Which, what that is saying, these other nations know that America is through, man. You know, you you're not uh you're not respected anymore. You're not you're not feared anymore. You know, so these other nations, man, they 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 talking, excuse my language, they talking they shit. You know, and that and there's nothing you can really 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 do about it, man. Because the Lord said, then then shall I bring thee down, man. All right. And that's exactly what's what's going what's going on, man. America is is is, is toilet bowl. Let's read some of this. Let me go grab a couple of scriptures, man. It says Washington role in the world is diminishing. What comes next? As America dominates across the globe, foreign policy, finance, and military affairs been a source of stability or conflict. Some believe Washington's status as the last great power has been a force for good. Others disagree, all right? Because, look, when you go into, uh, what's that, uh, let's go, let's go to it real quick. Let's go to the book of Asterisk, all right? Book, book of Asterisk said, uh, no more of your, of your, of your hurtful claws, you know? Cause what what this what 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 this uh devil have, have done? He have ter terrorized this terrorized the world, man. All right, dropping bombs on people. All right, invading their countries, taking their natural resources. All right, hey, now the chickens is coming home to roost, man. You know, as uh Malcolm X said, man, the chickens is is roosting, man. You know. Now let's try to get. Let me see. And let's start from uh let's start from thirty nine. Second Ezra is eleven and thirty nine. Art not thou that remain of that remainest of the first beast, who I made to reign in the world, that the end of their times might come through them. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past, and had power over the whole world. With a great fear for Salakia. And have power over the world with great fearfulness. All right. And that's what that article is talking about, man. All right. It says what? Some disagree, man. All right. Because what? You 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 haven't did nothing but actually uh put put hell on the people, man. All right. Like the book of uh the book of Isaiah say, which I'm gonna grab that real quick too, man. All right. Scripture says, uh the I, I'm gonna grab it. Right? Just give me one second. Uh it says it says, with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth, with much wicked oppression, you see? So they're, they're a perfect example, right? Uh, this happened a couple years ago, right? Uh, the U.S. government took GMO rice seeds, took them to India, all right? Now, you got to remember, these uh, countries thrive off their agriculture, all right? They don't have a bunch of GMOs, man. So they gave them this to look, say, look, this will be better. Now, once you plant something, it's supposed to grow some. It's supposed to grow the very next season. So, guess what? When Esau gave gave Elam those seeds, they didn't grow back. You know what happened with with to those farmers? Those farmers committed suicide, man. All right, because why Esau fucked up their livelihood, man. And that's what the scripture is talking about with much wicked oppression, man. It says, "So long dwelt he upon the earth with the seed, for thou." For the earth has thou not judged with truth. You see? It says, For thou has afflicted the meek, thou has hurt the peaceable. Let's talk about the Israelites, okay? The peace and the peaceful, the peaceable and the meek. Alright? Thou hast loved life and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and have cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. And that, that's you. All right, that's why you can, in, in, in perfect example, what you go what and, and invade those these other countries. All right, perfect example when you took took down what Muammar Gaddafi or uh what was his name um uh what's the dude name Saddam Hussein, right? 
That's the example of this scripture right here. Therefore is thou wrong for dealings come up to the highest and thou pride and the pride unto the mighty. The highest also looked upon the proud times and behold, they are ended. The abominations are fulfilled. Therefore appear no more. Therefore appear no more, thou eagle, thou horrible wings, nor thou wicked feathers, nor thou malicious head, heads, nor the hurtful claws, nor 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 all thou vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed. All right, and that's what we need, man. That's why Peter said, looking for a new heaven and a, and a new earth where what where righteousness dwell, man. All right, you need to be refreshed. Hey, but you know, know what know what it's gonna start with those nukes. All right. When when the other nations wipe out a wipe, wipe out America by what thermonuclear destruction, it says and may return being delivered from the violence, that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. All right. Now let's go back to that article. No, Salaki. I said I was gonna get to Isaiah. Let's grab the Isaiah real quick. Salaki. <coughs> Yeah, uh, America, so-called white man. Hey, you got a lot of hell uh, to, 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 to be paid back for, man, you know? Yeah, let me see. Uh... All right, let's start from Isaiah 14 to 4. It says, Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, have the, have the op How have the oppressor seized the golden city seized? And what's the golden? America, all right? Is not that article talking about America that I'm reading? Yes. It says, The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right? So at the end of the day, what's going on is leading to your whole downfall, all right? Or you're going to be broken without remedy, all right? It says, uh, the, Lord have, the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke and he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth, all right? But that's the point right there. He smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, man, all right? And that's why the scriptures say um, uh, when you when you stop from um, from um, um, uh, when you stop from oppressing, guess what? They're going to do the same thing unto you, okay? Now, let's go back to this article. Let's hit it. It says, has America dominance across the globe, foreign policy, foreign policy, finance, and military affairs been a source of stability or conflict? Some believe Washington's status as the last great power has been a force for good. Others disagree. It says, uh, mainly it's hegemony uh, has, has, has demanded that Washington divide the world into a mar marginalized adversaries and dependent allies. NATO supremacy in Europe was seen by many of the West leading lights as having created a last lasting piece of on the continent. At the same time, though, it has also been a main source of a conf conflict as they block expanding towards Russia borders. We are now living in an age when America dominance is coming to an end. You hear that? <laughs> Is coming to an end. You know, know what that sound like? We're going to grab the Isaiah 47. All right? Like the scripture says, sit there. It says that, that. It says there is no throne for you, man. Okay? It says, and its security guarantees are losing their credibility. If a un... No, it, if a unipolar uh, world order reduced the prospect of conflict, we previously... We previously dormant forces being unleashed as vulnerable states are overwhelmed by their aggressions. It says alternate alter alter alternate alternatively though will stallments and ceasefires be longer lasting longer lasting as nations previously emboldened by US backing a force Backing a force to find lasting solutions with their adversaries rather than languishing behind Washington protection. Um, I think I'm going to read, probably read this last paragraph. I'm going to go hit a couple more scriptures. But as you can see, man, these 
these, because the article is pretty long, these nations, they understand and they see that America is done, man. Like, like you can stick stick a fork in this place, man. Uh, the U.S. was understood was understandably hesitant to admit defeat and leave Afghanistan, as it would cause a credibility crisis. Like, uh, hell, well, you lost in Afghanistan. I think what was the other war you lost? Vietnam. All right, really, you never really win none of these wars. All right, you really just go occupy their land and 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 bomb them. All right, and and you know take their resources, man. Nothing never really, you know, uh, nothing good ever comes out of it, man. You know, its allies would no longer be able to base their foreign policy on the assumption of its protection. It says collectively, the hug of money, which I don't know, so I ain't going to pronounce that word. Give me one second. Let's go. Let's web search it. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. All right. Hegemony. Oh, so like hegemony. I was somewhat close. As you can see, it means leadership, dominance, especially by one country or or uh, social groups over others. All right. Basically, leader, leadership. All right. Or, or rulership. You know, it says um, the collective hegemony that that they would have to pursue an independent foreign policy and could promise with their adversaries American power would decline due to a diminishing ability to, ex, to exhort influence over its independent allies and marginalize their, their adversaries so, so look <laughs> America has they're even losing their their uh, influence man you know people is running is running ahead they're running away from this place, man. And then you got this uh dude, Joe Biden, man. He, I mean, she's man. America is not looking great, you know. Let's grab Isaiah 40, 47 real quick. We close. America is not look. America is losing, man. Right, America's falling off. Hor horribly, all right. And the nation see it, man. They ready to pounce on you, all right. That they're ready to pounce on you, man. Uh, Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, all right, O virgin daughter of Babylon. And you in that dust right now. You in a state of confusion, man. All right? Because people, yeah, you you not you don't hold that power no more, man. And 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 and, and you, you can't, you're trying to figure out, all right, how, how you can go back to those glory days, man. And it ain't happening, man. It says, uh, come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. Let's check out that word, no throne, real quick. All right, well, throne, it says, seat of honor, throne, seat, stole, seat, throne. Oh, listen to this, royal dignity, authority, and power. See, the Lord said, you don't got that no more, man. You done. You done, man. It says, uh, leave a. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. It says, uh, take the millstone and grind the mill, uncover the luck, uh, so like it uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thighs, pass over the rivers. Thou neckiness shall be uncovered. All right. Well, that's part of your neckiness. Them, part of your neckiness is them seeing that you weak as hell too, man. All right. You don't, you don't hold that power. But also all the wickedness you you've been doing, man. All right, have have how you been policing the earth, man. All right. It says, "Thou nakedness shall be uncovered; yea, thou shame shall be seen." And I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And that's somebody Yahweh shout when he come back. Hey, so with that, I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors to the elders of Jehovah, salutations to all the Akim out there that's preaching this truth. Also, shalom to the rest of the whole for elect. Peace.